Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using strain energy method. In this propped cantilever beam, there is a eccentric point load W. It is acting at a distance of A from the fixed end. Let us keep the distance between the point load and the propped end as B. The span of the beam is given as L. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 3. They are the movement MA and the vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. They are sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2. We will get 1. Let us keep the prop reaction Rb as a redundant. To find Rb, we are going to use the strain energy formula u is equal to 1 upon 2 Ei into integration of m square dx. To find m, we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So, we have to make two sections, one section in AC and one section in CB. You can see that I have made two sections, the first section in CB and the second section in AC. I have made both of the sections at the distance of X from the point B. Since there are two sections, we have to split the integration into two parts. The limit for the first integration is 0 to B and the limit for the second integration is B to L. Now let us find the movements. We are going to find the movements from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. First, let us find M1 up to the first section. We have only the vertical reaction Rb. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. Let us find M2 up to the second section. We have the load and the vertical reaction Rb. Rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. W is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus b minus w into x, we will get minus wx minus w into minus b, we will get positive wb. Now let us use Castellano's second theorem. We know that in the point B, the deflection is zero. So when we partially differentiate the strain energy U with respect to RB, it will be zero. Let us partially differentiate U with respect to RB. Inside M1, we have RB. When we partially differentiate M1 square, we will get 2M1. Inside M1, we have RB. So again, we have to partially differentiate M1 with respect to Rb. When we partially differentiate M2 square, we will get 2M2. Inside M2, we have Rb. So we have to partially differentiate M2 with respect to Rb. We can eliminate these two and these two. Also, we can eliminate these two and these two. Let us apply the value of M1 and let us apply the value of M2. Now let us differentiate M1 with respect to Rb. For Rb it will be 1. 1 into x we will get x. Let us differentiate M2 with respect to Rb. For Rb it will be 1. Here there is no Rb so here it will be 0. And here also it will be 0. 1 into x we will get x. 1 upon Ei is common. We can take it on the other side. 0 by 1 upon Ei, we will get 0. x into x, we will get x square. Then x into x, we will get x square. And again x into x, it will be x square. 
wb into x we will get wbx now using this formula we can make the integration when we integrate x square it will be x cube upon 3 when we integrate x it will be x square upon 2 then let us apply the limits here no need to apply the lower limit because it will become 0 here here and here let us apply both of the limits let us multiply rb upon 3 with l cube minus b cube we will get this we can eliminate these two terms we can take these two terms on the other side they will come with the change of signs let us take w upon 3 inside we will get this and let us take minus wb upon 2 inside we will get this minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 we will get positive 1 by 6 for these three terms let us take lcm let us keep 6 as lcm so in this term we have to multiply with 2 and in this term we have to multiply with 3 so that we will get this 2 3s are 6 we know that b is l minus a so instead of b let us apply l minus a let us take l cube on the other side it will come in the denominator let us multiply minus 3w l square with l minus a we will get these two terms for l minus a the whole power cube we can use this formula using that formula we will get this then let us multiply w with this we will get this then we can eliminate minus wl cube and a positive wl cube and also we can eliminate these two terms we can take w a square upon 2 l cube outside finally for rb we have made an expression w a square upon 2 l cube into 3 l minus a now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find r a r a and r b are acting upwards so both of them are positive w is acting downwards so it is negative we can take these two terms on the other side they will come with the change of signs for these two terms we can take lcm 2l cube into w we will get 2l cube w we know that a is l minus b so for a square we can apply l minus b the whole square and for a we can apply l minus b here we can use the formula a minus b the whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square here a is l and b is b using the formula we will get this then we can multiply these two terms when we do that we will get this we can eliminate these two terms then we can take a negative sign inside the bracket so this will become negative this will become negative this will become positive and this will become negative then we can eliminate 2l cube minus bl square plus 4bl square we will get 3bl square we can take b outside so here it will be b square finally we have made an expression for ra now let us apply the rule sigma m is equal to 0 and find m a from the point b i am going to take movement about a in this case i am moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive rb is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that will be positive and the distance is l the load w is acting in the clockwise direction so that will be negative and the distance is a let us assume that ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive we can take these two terms on the other side we can eliminate this l here it will be square we can take wa outside then we will get this for both of these terms we can take lcm 1 into 2l square we will get 2l square we can take 2l square outside and then let us multiply minus a with 3l minus a we will get this 
we can write 2L square is equal to L square plus L square and we can write minus 3AL is equal to minus 2AL minus AL here we have A minus B the whole square formula we know that A minus B the whole square is equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square here A is L and B is A so for this term we can write L minus A the whole square we know that L minus A is B so it will become B square we know that A is equal to L minus B so instead of A let us apply L minus B let us multiply L minus B with the L we will get L square minus B L then take the negative sign inside so L square become negative and B L becomes positive we can eliminate L square we can take B outside so here we will have L plus B we know the formula A square minus B square is equal to A plus B into A minus B so L minus B into L plus B becomes L square minus B square finally we have made an expression for MA now we are going to draw the shear force diagram from the point A up to the point C we can use right hand side rule upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative from the point B up to the point C we can use left hand side rule upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive so we can easily find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram now let us find the bending moment values the point to B is a simply supported end so the bending moment in the point to B will be zero to find bending moment at A let us use right hand side rule clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative to find the moment in the point C let us use left hand side rule clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is B finally for the bending moment at C we will get this here you can see the bending moment diagram in this point the bending moment is zero this point is called the point of contraflexure let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point A. Let us find the moment in this point and find x. Let us use right hand side rule. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. We can take this term on the other side so it will become positive. We can eliminate WB2 and L square. We can take these two terms on the other side, they will come inversely. Let us apply X here. Suppose we have to find the point of contraflexure from the point to B, we have to subtract this by L. We can multiply L with this term, we will get this. For these two terms, we can take LCM. When we multiply L with this, we will get this. Let us take the negative sign inside. L cube becomes negative. Minus B square L becomes positive. We can eliminate these two terms. 3L cube minus L cube, we will get 2L cube. Let us apply the expression. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.